The new Colombo has been found in the Fortnite update, so let's go ahead and check it out. But first, did you know that in this season of Fortnite, you will be able to ride flying animals? That is right. In the last Fortnite update, we actually got the addition of the Saddler item. And basically with this item, you would be able to ride the flying animals. And well, the first thing that comes when you think about flying animals are dragons. And well, this update is actually pretty awesome because the Saddler item is already found in the game files. Along with this, in this season of Fortnite, we have also got the addition of the brand new Goo Gun. This has been teased out in the trailer itself and if you are wondering how this actually works, well, if you actually stick the goo on your opponents, this is actually gonna explode. And this is not just it. In this new season of Fortnite, we've also got the addition of the brand new DMR Cobra which was teased out in the trailer. And this is actually gonna be quite better than the current DMR that we have in the game right now. New weapons aside, there's actually a lot of new POIs that are actually gonna be changing in the Fortnite map. If you're not aware, the tornado which is actually at the Herald Sanctum, this is actually gonna move throughout the map. And in order to prevent the chrome from spreading, the seven are actually going ahead and lifting all the POIs above the ground. And well, because of this, we're actually gonna see a lot of POIs changing their location. In the upcoming days, we're actually gonna see the pirate ship changing its location completely. But on top of that, the no sweat insurance building at Tilted Towers, even that is actually gonna go ahead and change its location as we can actually see from this official picture where the no sweat insurance building is actually spotted somewhere else thanks to these hoverboards. And not only this, your favorite POIs and locations are actually gonna change throughout the map. This is gonna include Sleepy Sound, the big large gas station, the Butter Bloom, and as well as Coney Crossroads. These all locations will be lifted above the ground and they're gonna change their location. And this leads us to the Clombos finally returning. As you know, the Clombos are actually hibernating in the ground. And before I show you how they're actually coming up, there's actually some new mythic items which has just been added in the new Fortnite update. This is actually gonna include the brand new Kingsman mythic item and this is actually quite overpowered cause this can actually block all the incoming damage. But it can also be used as a glider redeploy and you can also use it as a pickaxe which actually deals a lot of damage. Along with this, we are actually gonna see a new Halloween boss in the game which is codenamed as Freaky and this is actually gonna drop a new mythic item but along with that there is also gonna be a new pumpkin launcher that you will get your hands once you defeat the boss. And the best part about all of this is that in this season of Fortnite as you may be aware, we currently have two new mythic vaults in the game. But well, it has been found that there is a new mythic vault which has been added to the game which is gonna require three keys. Which means this is actually gonna contain a loot of a boss. If you're not aware of this, the Wolverine's mythic, the Batman's mythics and the Luke Skywalker's lightsaber are actually making a return on this season of Fortnite. And with this, you might have actually wondered. Well, last time when the Wolverine boss was added to the game, the boss actually had a lot of features. He could run fast, he could even revive himself after being knocked out, but the boss did not drop a mythic key card. But it looks like with the new vault finally being added to the game, the mythic vault could actually make a return with the key card once again which is actually gonna make a lot of people happy and there's a really high chance that the mythic vaults that we have right now they might actually stop using keys to open cause well there's actually some new chests which are actually being added to the game which is actually gonna require you to use keys to actually open them now you might be thinking why should you open a chest which is only gonna give you a few selectable items rather than opening a mythic vault and well that is because of the fact that these chests they are actually gonna contain unvaulted items but also exotic items in the game and talking about unvaulted items well guess what the helicopters and planes they're actually making a return on this season of fortnite 
Well, as you may be aware that if you actually use a chrome splash and throw it on boats and cars, they actually turn into chrome. And Fortnite added this feature where we will be able to turn our helicopters and planes into chrome. And it is actually expected to come out during Halloween of this year. Talking about Halloween, Fortnite actually teased out a new type of a shield or consumable item being added to the game. As you may be aware that every Halloween we actually see a lot of new items being added to the game, whether if it's candies and even peppermints. All of these items actually gives the players a boost and it turns out that this item might actually do something similar or might even give you additional HP and shields to fight off those zombies being added to the game. Cause it has been teased out with the brand new crew pack which is coming out for the month of October we can actually find some new chrome zombies and these zombies are actually gonna be quite different remember in this video I told you guys that we are gonna get ourselves a new Halloween boss it turns out that the new Halloween boss will also be able to summon creatures and well just like the herald boss how it actually summons wolves this boss might be able to summon these zombies aka the players which has been eliminated from the game so if you're thinking of the clombos are gonna be scared of these zombies you're right we're gonna have a look at them right now because well if you're not aware of this the big herald boss is actually trying to take over the fortnite map and this season might actually be the last season of this chapter. If you actually have a look at the description of the skin as well, it says the nothing is coming, which also matches up with the description of the cube queen and how it actually wanted to end the Fortnite universe. If you actually go at the center of the map at Loot Lake, you will be able to spot a big rift right on top of it. And this is actually a pretty good surprise and because of this rift, we're actually gonna see a lot of things returning in the Fortnite map. The first thing which actually returned is actually the Loot Lake House all the way from Chapter 1. And thanks to this rift, we're now gonna be seeing Clombos and their location in this video. Now the best thing is, with the return of this big rift coming up to the game, we're seeing a lot of things coming back. And one of the things that people actually missed out on is actually gonna be this house. Now this house may actually look ordinary, but inside this actually lies a really big secret. If you actually go downstairs right now and have a look at this secret location, you will be able to spot that Iron Man has actually set up a secret base. Now you might be thinking, how is this Iron Man secret base? Cause in this device, you will be able to see a device which was actually constructed by Iron Man himself. And well, we have seen the return of Iron Man already with the brand new suit. And this is all thanks to the new rift which has just showed up on top of Loot Lake. And this rift is actually bringing back all the old stuff and new stuff to the game. And because of this, the Clombos are finally back cause Fortnite have started to work on them. And finally, before the map eventually gets destroyed and we get a new chapter, it turns out that Clombos are finally gonna come out of their shelter and they're gonna say hello in the brand new season of Fortnite. And with their return, we could also be seeing some cosmetics hitting the item shop. So if you're getting them, then please use code GARU in the item shop and click on this video which is showing up right now cause this video is pretty awesome. And I'll catch you in that video so click on it right now and check it out.